the brew review. Everybody get your hands up for the brew review. Come on everybody, let's dip it on back. Body, head, and cap, show me what you got on that tap. Cause it's K-Dog and Mr. GMC. Everybody here knows that it's BYOB. Tell me how it tastes, tell me, tell me how it smells. Is it that old bud or that yang ling hell? But it's time to get it started, so we started off right. It's the brew review, so we gonna party all night. Let's go. It's the brew review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Let's go. It's the brew review. Everybody get your hands up for the brew review. Well, well, well. The hard root beer wars continue. We got a new player in town, ladies and gentlemen. This is... Sprecher? Sp Spre Sprecher? Sprecher? Fire brewed hard root beer. Apparently they brew it over the fire inside Ooh. a wooden barrel. Somewhere so that's what it says here. Over the fire. So let's go ahead and rotisserie this bitch. 12 ounces. 5% content. So it's a little weaker than not your father's. Nope. This is like a genre of beers that kind of popped up overnight. Like, our show is older than this, this uh, genre of beer. The hard Soda Wars, yes. It's been a terrible war. And well, not really terrible. we got a little cap shot. Looks cool as shit. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily say it's been a terrible war. It's Did been we a... say they're from Wisconsin? Yes. Um, let me see here. Sprecher the Brewing Cheese. Sprecher Brewing Company, Glendale, Wisconsin, yes. Okay, SprecherBrewingCompany.com, if you want to check them out. Uh, Not .ca. Yeah, nothing really special. Malt beverage with natural and artificial flavor, artificial color and caramel, 5% alcohol, blah, blah, blah. Love the, the, uh, the label. Fire brewed. Yeah, I wonder what the fire brewed is all about. But, like I said, maybe they brew it over an open fire in a barrel somewhere. But, yeah, this, this whole genre of... Hard soda, wow. It's yeah, and a, 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 huge. it kind of started off with a root beer, then they went to ginger ale, and now cola, and it, it's all over the fucking they, place. Not Your Father's even makes a Mountain Dew equivalent. Now. Yeah, well, I'm trying to find that. We, that may show up in this season here later on. I've been trying to find it's it. It's been tough to find. I'm sure it's uh, very popular. But, but what about, uh, I mean... Like, the whole root beer thing itself has kind of just popped up overnight. Yeah, Coney Island. Does Henry's make a root beer, too? Yes. I, I haven't had it. We haven't had it yet. I believe they do. I think uh, we I think we did a grape soda of theirs last season. Right. But, I mean, it's going to come down to a point where beer just becomes extinct. It's just going to be this stuff. I hope the fuck not. I'm sure there's going to be beer out there, but people are really buying this stuff up and the only downside to this hard soda kick is that it's really expensive. It's expensive, but when you drink it, it'll kick your fucking yeah. ass. A case of Not Your Father's is still like 50, 60 bucks. Yeah, that's that's fucked up. That's bad. Well, I know this. When you go to like, when you're not in PA and you go to Walmart, a six pack of Not Your Father's will go for around 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. So when you, do, right. when you do the math, it's about 40 bucks a case. Yeah, it's not. But anyway... But anyway, we're going to do the cap test, the body and head test, wherever the cup wherever is. Wherever the cup is. The we'll drink test, the draft test, all that good stuff. Yeah. So without further ado, I'm going to assume so let's, that let's, I can pull this off with my hand. And boom! How good am I at predicting this? Boom! And looking at bottle steam. Boom! Well, I can tell you this, the smell does not lie. It's root beer? It's root beer. Oh, wow. Yes, it and is. And it smells damn good. Yes, it is. It's definitely root beer. Now, Will this I'm... be a competitor to Not Your Father's? Yeah, because Coney Island is more of a birch beer than anything. This might be a root beer. Is it a part? What are you drinking there, dog? Is it Spreckers? I am drinking Spreckers. Fire brewed hard root beer. Let's try it. Let's see if regular hard root beer tastes better than fire brewed. There's a train All coming right, through. and I'm going to go ahead and do a flavor burst. Apparently there's a train coming through. There is, like, absolutely no fucking bite to this. It's another one of those fuck you up type beers. Yeah, and we've had a lot of that lately mm -hmm. here at the Brewview. Most of these hard sodas are. As a matter of fact, as we're taping this now, we've been binging. Yeah. So, what, what this is like our tenth review in one night? Something like that. 
I'm basically floating like a caddy on bad shocks right now. It's got a bizarre aftertaste to me. Well, I like it better than Best Damn. Really? But it's not as good as Not Your Father's and Jed's and... and well, yeah, Ernie's. Best Damn, okay, uh, Not Your Father's is still... Yeah, Not Your Father's pretty much raised that bar. I'm... I don't know. I. It's weird. It's I don't like different. the aftertaste. It's not really A&W, though, too. I mean, it's kind of weird. Yeah. Like, A&W has, like, a distinct taste. Mm-hmm. You gotta wonder, like, did A&W and Not Your Fathers go together and not tell us? It's possible. So we do the the body and head test, as you see. It looks exactly like root beer. Again, I don't know if I said this on any other episode, but I think we need to do a beer float with this shit. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely need to we do a beer We haven't done a beer float in a while here we on the show. We need to do a beer float with these hard sodas. Definitely. Um, again... I stress this so much. If you drink these hard sodas, do not repeat. Do not leave them unattended when young children are around. They will drink them. Because they see you. They ask you, what are you drinking? You say, oh, I'm drinking soda. Oh, I want some soda. No, you can't have this soda. Well, they'll just take it from you when you're not looking. I learned right away, like, I go to West Virginia. Grandchild's there. I just, I drink straight beer and teach her it's bad. I just can't get over that aftertaste. I don't know if it's just me, but it's slowly losing points for me. I like it. Eh. Now, what did we rate Not Your Father's? Do you remember? I think that was... Was um, that a straight five? I think I was five. I don't know. We have to go back and look, but... But I... I I like it better than Best Damn, but not uh, as good as Not Your Father's. How's that? Yeah, um... I'm gonna say maybe 4.5 on this bad boy. I can't get over that aftertaste. Ah, damn what do you, what, How do you describe it? It's just one of those weird aftertastes. I don't know if it's just the alcohol in it. Because the other ones really kind of covered it up with the root beer taste. <sighs> uh, I'm gonna give it my nice rating... The nice rating. I'm getting the nice rating. The nice rating where it's not good, but it's also not terrible. The packaging is totally cool, though. I do you like gotta, that. You gotta take that in I'm account. Giving, I'm giving that points for that. I'm gonna give it a three and a half. That is what I consider my nice rating. It, I, I could drink it, but I just can't get over that taste. I don't know if it's just me. Not a fan. Not Your Father's is still my, my pick as far as root beer goes. Yeah, I agree with you there. I mean, they raised the fucking bar on that shit. Yeah. But another contender for the hard soda wars, apparently. Um, it's, it's out there. It's, There's a ton of them. And we haven't even touched half of them. He Henry still has a hell of a lot more. Yeah, we only did one product from them so far in the series. Yeah, they got orange. They got cola. They we got kind of did an unusual one. I think we did grape. Yes. And that was it? But I think like they were more famous for like their orange soda. Mm -hmm. And did they do a cola too? Black cherry cola, I believe. Yeah, okay. Still, though, if you're going to ask me my favorite cola or favorite hard soda, vanilla cream ale. Now, I bought this at AA in Moorfield. During his meeting. Yes. The, the the famous place down in West Virginia that I yeah. go to yeah, his, every time I visit. After he got done with his Alcoholics Anonymous meeting, he stops over next door to the AA place. Well, I got it for like, I think it was maybe like, might have been about a buck fifty for the bottle. But as far as like six packs go, if you, on average with a hard soda, you're going to figure about ten dollars for a six pack. Right. Even if you go to Walmart if you're out of Pennsylvania. So... It's it's rather pricey if you buy it by the case. I warn you there. Oh, definitely. No matter what name is on it, whether it's Cutting Island, Not Your Father's, what the hell ever. Plus, you're not going to sit down and chug half a case of this shit in a night. It's too sweet. No, you're going to maybe drink a couple of those and then maybe switch to your regular. I recommend a six-pack myself. Because yeah. that's how I buy the vanilla cream ale for Not Your Father's. I'll drink maybe two a night. with like Whatever we're eating that night, I'll drink maybe two. And then I'm done. 
But I'm going to try my damnedest to get, maybe get a six pack of the Not Your Father's Mountain Dew or whatever the, the mount, fuck it's called. Mountain Ale. Mountain Ale, want. yeah, the green shit. It's always Mountain something. I've been mountain trying, I've been trying to find that stuff for the last few weeks now. Even our buddy, Mr. E. Pizzle, who does our intro on here, he wants to try it. Now, I, mm. I told him if I get a six pack of it, I'll give you one. Yeah, it's very hard to find around here. Yeah. But I'm sure they'll make something else. They always do. How, what, what about not your father's like Jolt Cola? Alcoholic oh, Jolt. <laughs> that would be like a Jager Bomb pre-mixed. Alcoholic Jolt. Make that happen. Alcoholic make your fucking heart stop. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. What, what, yeah, Jager Bomb with Jolt Cola. Oof. No. Well, thanks. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this week's review on Sprex, Sprecher, Sprecher's. Sprecher's. Fire Brewed Hard Root Beer. Maybe it's the Fire Brew that made Weird. Right. Maybe they burned it. I don't know. I... Anyway. But yeah, I liked it. Like I said, four and a half for me. He, would you say four? Uh, three and a half. Three that was my and... nice rating. My nice rating. All right, so we'll see you next week with something. I'm not sure as of yet, I but we'll know. figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll